All right, so we have the second pair of our yoke metal gears. Not metal gears, but metal parts. The other one was done on the last episode, and this one is on this episode. And you can see quite a lot has happened. This is quite a weird position. Yeah, and quite a dangerous position too, but... Yeah, we had to flip this on the side so we can access it from underneath to fix the access. And then once we have fixed everything underneath there, we can install these on the upper areas. This has been something we have been waiting for a long time and it's finally here. So let's go ahead and get these installed. Also, we are streaming right now and we do stream quite uh, regularly, randomly. Yeah. So if you want to come see how we do this live, uh, we love stream every once in a while. Yeah, be sure to uh, watch our Discord because we inform there when we're gonna go live or if we are live at the moment. Yes, but let's go ahead and show how it's looking for underneath. All right, here you can see the underneath side of the mechanism. Yeah. And you can see the orange thing right there. Yeah, we just added this. Uh, this was quite a hassle to take out this metal gear. Uh, but yeah, we took this out, put the spacer here so this doesn't wiggle anymore at all. And it should be perfect. Yep. Then we will just uh, need to cut uh, the pipe, metal pipe going up in the yoke shaft and uh, install it. Yes. And last episode, I think you might have talked about it or you might didn't. Uh, the old piece. That is right here. Well, this is not it, but uh, old piece was five centimeters too short, which prompted us to have to change the whole pipe around the inside mechanism. And that's what we're doing now. The new one is right there. All right, we're gonna, or we are drilling the holes for the yoke uh, mechanism. It feels illegal to try a screw yeah. in my hand. <laughs> Battery empty. All right, so so the metal part that we are drilling is gonna just, it's the pipe that we're drilling a hole into and that's gonna secure the movement so it doesn't slip at all. Right, first hole is drilled. Yep, and we'll make another one and put this in and show you that. All right, here's the yoke head now attached, and we had us the screw that we were talking about. Yeah. It makes sure everything is nice and tight. We have some slack trouble here. Yeah, we encountered some slack, so we're just gonna fix that, and yep. then we will uh, finally close this. Yeah. Up. All right, there's the yoke head now all secured. We have a lot of grease in there, so it flows smoothly. We tried to put this as level as possible, but we do some uh, minor adjustments from underneath the floor as well. Yeah, it's easier to uh, set it up from there. Yeah, we can have the yoke actually connected here, so we can see that it's level. But we're just tightening up the screws on the uh, shaft. Yeah, so this doesn't move at all. Yep. And it's about to, about to be done and we'll move on the other side. Yeah. Here you can see. Looking so nice. Yeah, we'll film more about the final purchase, uh, final product after it's done. Before we continue, let me tell you a little bit about this video's sponsor, PCB Way. PCB Way is a parts manufacturer who provides custom PCBs, CNC parts, and many other services to hobbyists and companies alike. Their simple instant quote tool gives you a really precise price estimate even before ordering and their customer service is super helpful. One thing I personally love about PCBWay's website is their 24-hour production status transparency. They will update your product's manufacturing status live and you can see exactly how your order is progressing. Their cheap prices and fast services are definitely worth checking out and you can do that by clicking the first link down in the description. Thank you PCBWay, now back to the video. Right, and as you have probably seen earlier, I'm still under here, but on the other side. Yeah. And I'm actually uh, tightening his bolts. 
so yeah this should be done in like hopefully in like half an hour yeah it really isn't that much work we just need to put the new beam uh where is it there up there get the new gears installed and it's a quick task should be quick task if you have no problems yeah then we'll do the fine tuning to the entire yoke and we'll have it done all right here we are fixing now the other side we have the head all made up and the bottom side we have everything set up so it's all just adjusting now yeah i'm just opening this yoke head to get through this uh, cable and then we will just adjust this uh, to the correct position and it should be all good yeah then we would have our dual linked yoke functional once again finally all right i'm spending still time under here but this time i'm doing the end stops so that means we are uh, beginning to end this video yep soon we'll demonstrate how good it actually is there's almost zero slack and the almost center perfectly like you can't never get it to absolutely perfect yeah but i think that actual plane actual real planes also maybe have some slack too yeah and mm, yeah well we'll see after this uh, if we get some gameplay video too but uh some of the uh, cables are disconnected right now so yeah i don't know if that's gonna happen but yeah. we'll see it, it should be pretty easy just plug in arduino and just work maybe but let's see yeah. I just tap weld it so uh, we can weld it better now. Yeah. And get it straight if it's not straight. Yep. Alright, both of the yokes finally attached. We got those little screws welded up. And you can see that we added some nuts and spacers and everything there. And it's all mounted up. Yeah, this was actually so much better than we thought. Yeah. This, uh, this can be tightened so tight. That, yeah, uh, we can't even tighten it with our hands. Yeah. Yeah, and look at this leg. It's almost non-existent. Like, wow. And then the uh, mo field of motion, 90 degrees each direction. I mean, I will show this one that you are using. So actually 90 degrees. Yeah. And 90 degrees. Yeah. And then and it's not exactly 90 degrees. Yeah. And yes. that's due to the like millimeters of slack yeah. we have but both sides go 90 degrees when you directly control them yeah and this is this feels much better uh, in terms of the uh, like end stops because uh, that uh, captain side uh, end stops were so much uh, uh, apart that uh, they're not engaging fully but we can fix them with nuts so, yeah when we want to here we have these new stickers. We probably showed them in the earlier videos or yeah. maybe in the stream. They don't look so bad, actually. Yeah, they are really good. And these were something we didn't have before. We also have a sticker that goes here. You can see the pitch angles, or no, rotation roll angles. That will go after we have painted everything. But yeah. Yeah. it's like 11.30 o'clock <laughs> at night. Yeah. So it's been a long day. Yeah, we set up a timer when we started and this is not the whole content of the video yeah it's just the like last minute or two you have yes. probably under a minute you have seen yeah. <laughs> from the video we, we didn't show nearly everything we did we did so much more than we show because there is a lot of problems a lot of issues that you don't really need to care about yeah and uh, stuff that is just too boring to watch yeah so yeah, one thing we did is we attached one extra spring in the centering mechanism and it made this feel a little bit uh, stronger in the return mechanism. Yeah, and actually better. Yeah, so that's something we just did. We didn't show that a lot of this stuff we do off camera. I think last thing we'll do and just give some uh, B-roll. We'll attach the plates here, the checklist plates, and we'll be done with the video. Yeah.